Hey, today let me show you how easy it is to add a background to models in Paint 3D. This is a very easy guide for Windows 10. What's up everyone and back again with another amazing video. So if you don't want to miss any of our new videos, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon for you to always be updated with my latest video tutorials. So by now, you've seen some of the power contained within Paint 3D, but you'll never really have a finished piece of artwork by putting it on a white background and calling it a day. Using backgrounds is the final puzzle piece for really bringing your creations to life, and today, I will show you how it is to be done. There are actually a few ways to do this. The first would be drawing your own background using a, using a Paint 3D tools. Or you can import an image from anywhere online and use that as your background, which is what we'll do today. So let me open up Paint 3D. So just type in here, in the search bar. Here it is, just click it. I have also already have the background and the bird. It's a transparent image. It's a PNG. As you can see, the tooltip says PNG file dimensions 400 by 200. The background will be the sky. So from here, you will see two options. So new and open. So let's choose the open. Since we're going to look for the files, the background files that we want. And here it is, sky. Now let me zoom in a little. You can press the plus icon to zoom in or minus to zoom out. So now that we have the background, what we'll need to do is to put the sticker. And to do that, all we need to do is click the sticker. And once you click that, you will see these options or properties in here that you have that you can uh, navigate. So right now, click the add sticker. You can now add the sticker that you want. So, on my case, I'm going to add the hook, the bird, and then I'm going to change or resize the image. If you think that it's already good enough, then just click the check button or the check button. And as you can see, it is now successfully added to the background. So you can now go to the options and save the file to make sure that it will not be deleted. So we name the sky, the file, to whatever you wanted to. I'm just going to delete to minimize this so that's all for now and i hope that you have enjoyed watching and learned something in this video so if you have to say something about this video please don't hesitate to leave a comments below once again this is non-stop coding tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you soon